than that one girl who is now severely interested in this game of musical chairs we're doing with motorcycles. This is Bikes, Beards, and Brews. Let's kick that intro. guys welcome back to the channel before we kick this one off make sure you like comment subscribe hit that bell notification new videos coming weekly you ring that bell you know when they drop let's get the other stuff out of the way want to save 10% on our cargo communicator or save some money on some beyond riders gear or Kimmy moto gear then you should definitely check my referral links down below want to support me and all my do goodness like these cool guys here Bam! Then you should become part of the brew crew and join the coffee page down below. Want to know why I'm asking you for money? Well, next to those 10,000 Amazon affiliate links that also go to a good cause is a leak explaining what I do with your money. Get it? Got it? Cool. Let's move on. All right, guys. So we are in Lincoln, New Hampshire right now. Dave is right here on a Pan America CVO. Uh, we have swapped up bikes. If you watched the last video, we just picked up four bikes from Harley. It is the Lowrider ST, which I am on right now with a 131 engine in it. is on the Pan America CVO, Jerry is on the Street Glide CVO, and Melissa is on the Road Glide CVO ST. And we are heading over to the Kangamagas Highway. We're going to go about halfway through on these bikes before we trade up and, you know, move on to other bikes. First and foremost, this bike feels hella weird. Um, the foot pegs are definitely high. I am kind of in, I don't know, I would say like a f sitting frog position almost, but I am a taller guy. So yeah, it, for those of you wondering, I am six foot one. So that's what I'm working with. These are just normal foot pegs. You can feel the power just waiting to open up on this bike. It's crazy. But yeah, the, the seating for me is really weird. This is definitely not something I would want to do for a long rides. I would definitely make some changes in the foot peg position and the handlebars. But let's go riding a little bit and uh, see how I feel a few miles down the road. This is kind of a review, but you know, if you're not familiar with how I do reviews, it tends to be more of feeling, like, you know, how I like it, how it feels to me, how I enjoy it. I don't go too, too deep into the specs. There's plenty of people doing that for you, and they're probably doing a much better job than me. But, you know, if you're kind of the same mindset as I am, then you, you'll get an idea of how you would probably feel riding this bike. And as always, I ask you guys, if you've ridden something like this, sound off down below. Like, let other people know. You should not be looking at just me for all your reviews and stuff. Diversify, research, look around. But let's roll a bit and let's have some fun, shall we? All right, guys, before I forget as well, make sure you go check out Minnow Moto and Melissa's Motorcycle Adventures. I will put links down below for both of their channels because they're gonna be making content on this as well. And I'm sure they're gonna be talking about their experiences with these rides and how they feel about their bikes. So yeah, and you know, for Dave, uh, just watch my channel. <laughs> Dave's right there, he'll take care of it. He'll tell you all about it. Dave, how are you liking that Pan America so far? Yeah, so far so good, man. Um, it's smooth. Definitely got some decent kick. Uh, this is the first time being on anything in this nature, so it's a different feel for me. But uh, I feel like I'm jumping pretty quickly. We did adjust the seat down. Shocking. I know everybody <laughs> well, is really surprised by that. <laughs> well, so take a second and and just say, like talk about like how you didn't want to ride the Pan America and why. I think I was more worried about just sitting upright and not being able to get my feet to touch the ground. Um, it's just a different feel. I, you know, a little bit intimidating, but just something I was not really comfortable with. Um, and not ha I've never ridden a, a sports bike, so I've never had my feet 
this far back to the ship for it to break. So it's a little bit different feel as well. Uh, again, just got to put myself out of the uh, comfort zone and uh, then hook it up just like that. And, and just for the people at home, how tall are you and what's your inseam? If you're cool to. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. I'm probably see I'm short. I'm about five foot six, five foot seven on a good day. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hovering around 190 and my inseam's about 30 inches. So it gives you an idea. Uh, you know, short stocky Italian dude trying to ride something that a lot you'll see a lot more taller than you like with this. But I think it is doable. So that's just to give you guys an idea at home. If you are a shorter rider and you've looked at the Pan America and you're like, oh, I can't ride it because I'm not tall enough. There's Dave and he is riding it and he's 5'6". Inseam is 30 inches if you didn't catch that. So if that helps you at all, there you go. I was like, I'm not sure if my helmet cam battery's dead. <laughs> Come on. I can't check it. All right, there we go. All right, guys, we've been riding for a little bit, and I gotta say, this is a fun bike. However, probably not the bike for me without some major changes to it. Like I said, I got that sort of like squat, splayed out frog sitting sort of position, the way it's set up now. And this would be a fun bike to bomb around town with. I tend to like to do some longer rides. I could definitely see this getting uncomfortable on longer rides and Dave said as much when we were on the highway uh, after a little bit of time it was just getting a little uncomfortable for him and I could see that I could I could definitely see that myself it it is a fun bike this this would definitely be a good bar hopper it'd be a good round the town sort of bike something you're riding on weekends uh, it's got the mono shock in the back, the inverted shocks in the front. The seat's fairly comfortable, although I could see it getting uncomfortable for longer rides pretty quickly. The windshield seems to be working well for me, although with Dave, he was saying that there was some buffeting on the highway. And granted, we're not doing highway speeds right now, so I can't fully speak to that for myself personally. Uh, the way these bars are set up though, the mirrors are fairly pointless, at least to me. I do have wider shoulders though, so I'm just looking at my arms and I did try to adjust them, but yeah, that would be something I'd, I'd have to put on like bar and mirrors or readjust something somewhere. Past that though, I mean, this is a good bike. It's I'd like, it's got the 131, so it's got power and just for those of you who aren't aware no you're not getting this with a 131 off the floor that is an aftermarket sort of thing so we are following two of the slowest people on the face of the planet which always seems to happen no matter what time of year you come up to the Kangamagas or, or you know what time of day doesn't matter you always get stuck behind the slow people This bike, like I said, I would recommend it to people who are bombing around town, weekend riders, people who, you know, want something sporty, but you're not doing a lot of long distance trips. Uh, past that, if you're, if you're doing a lot of long distance trips, this is probably not the bike for you. The other thing that Dave just mentioned to me about these newer bikes that I didn't even process before, uh, the shifting. Older Harleys, I mean, they clunk. When you shift them, it's like, dun dun. These are just, they, they shift smooth. They really do. And that is on the 121s. That is on this 131 that I'm riding. I mean, it's smooth. This is a good bike. I, I dig it. Um, not the bike for me, but I mean, it is a popular bike that's out there. So I can, and I see why. I definitely see why. Nonetheless, that is what I have for you on this bike. Short sort of review. Uh, but yeah, sound off down below. Like I said, if you have one of these, 
share your experiences, some of the modifications you made, uh, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with friends, share it with family, share it with that one dude you know who's like, I wish I had a super badass bar hopper. Here it is, here it is. He loves this stuff, trust me. And I'll see you all on the flip side.